So about a month ago, Telefo sent me their brand new RGB 100 watt palm light. And shortly thereafter, I got into an accident. So there's been a bit of missing content as of late, which I understand, but this opportunity of having a bit of time off has given me the chance to really put this light through its paces. So in this review, I'll be giving a breakdown as to who I believe this light is for, some pros, some cons, and some general bits of advice on whether you should invest in this light, because I do like to say, buy it nice or buy it twice. So while yes, they did send me this light, my opinion and review is my own. They haven't told me what I can and can't say. It's purely based off my hands-on experience working with this light. So let me take you through some of the key features and let's just get into it. So a quick overview of the light. Let me just start off by saying it is so small yet incredibly versatile for what it is in its price range. Offering color temperature adjustments from 2700 Kelvin to 6500 Kelvin, it's pretty much a given for any video light you should be buying nowadays. It gives you that perfect range between cool lighting and warm lighting, but that's not where the fun ends. The real value in this light is hiding in its RGB capabilities. That means for any of those creative shots where you just need a pop of color, you can just dial it in and you're good to go. For me as a music video director, this is a must have feature. I wouldn't even consider lights that don't have this flexibility. But the versatility of this light isn't done yet. It also comes with some built-in effects, 20 effects to be exact. They're all the basic and standard effects that you'd expect from a light like this, such as cop car, lightning, campfire, and paparazzi, to name a few of my favorites. Now, I should mention that this light isn't just a studio light. It is designed to be portable which means you're gonna get the best value out of it when you can just chuck it in your backpack with the rest of your gear and head off to a very run and gun style shoot. It's one of the few lights that I've seen that actually has a battery built in, which means you can literally take it anywhere. And what is that battery gonna get you? Well, at 100% brightness, which is about 60 watts of power, you're gonna get about an hour of runtime. And when you put it in its boost mode, it's 100 watt mode, you're gonna get about 45 minutes. Some other key features which I think is worth mentioning is a good app with good functionality. The Lightlink app allows you to control the light remotely. So if you have it boomed up on a stand or just in a hard to reach place, you can turn it on remotely and get all of the color and brightness functionalities and effect functionalities from the palm of your hand. In my experience, I've found that the Link Light app has been incredibly smooth and responsive. And that's the kind of stability that you want when you're gonna be dropping a couple hundred bucks on the light. This is 100%. I'm very blown out right now. So if I put you on the other side of the room, there we go. Now I've turned off my main key light. I've got the Telefo sitting over there and let's go 5600 Kelvin. That's very similar to the lighting I just had previously. Now, if we change to the color mode as well, we can still get all the same access and controls that we can on the back of the light itself. It's even got some inbuilt gel filters if you're looking for very specific uh, mood lighting as well. Personally, for me, I can't be bothered buying a product if I know that there's no app for remote functionality because it means I can't do this from the comfort of my own seat. And there are plenty of times where I need to be able to access a light remotely, but I've got a camera in my hand, I'm shooting at the talent, and I just need to know what a few minor adjustments look like. So just being able to work everything remotely, so that way I can get the best look that I want without necessarily even needing to get out of my chair is a huge selling point for me. Now with the light sitting about four feet away from me at 100%, this is kind of the result that you're looking at. It is very front on at the moment. I haven't put it up on a, on a big stand or anything like that. It also comes with this silicon dome on the front. You don't have to use it, but I highly recommend that you do. I keep mine on at all times because even in my little example where I had the light four feet away, there was still a very nasty shadow behind me. So if you're looking for the ultimate soft lighting, you're probably going to want to use this thing with a softbox. If you don't have a softbox because this does need a mini Bowens mount adapter, then I would recommend that you just keep the silicon dome on and put the light as far away as you can. So that way the light has the most space to diffuse over. So now that we've had a look at some of the basic functionality of this light, let's get into some of the things that I really enjoyed about using this product. Number one, it's compact and portable. This light easily fits in my camera bag with the rest of my equipment. 
And because it's got a USB-C on the back, I can run it on a portable charger all day if I need, if the battery ever runs out. In my experience, it has been incredibly, incredibly useful for those tricky run and gun situations where you just need a pop of light or a pop of color, but you don't want to rig up this whole truckload of equipment. This sometimes is all you need to get the job done. Point number two, the fan on this thing is incredibly quiet. If you're worried about any low hums turning up in your audio recordings, you won't have that issue with this light. And if you do find that it is a little bit louder than you'd desire, if I turn it all the way up to 100% here, just so you can kind of see, there is a fan off button on the back, which dims it down to 15% with no fan running. Point number three, the 100 watt boost. That feature on this light has been an incredible lifesaver in some low light situations. Being able to, at the push of a button, crank this from a 60 watt light to a 100 watt light has been the make or break difference between getting the shot and not. Being able to get all of this without sacrificing any of the portability factors has been key for me. Point number four, it's affordability. At this price point, it's a great deal. For the cost of one high-end light from maybe one of their competitors, you could buy three or four of these Telefo palm lights. That's what makes this a solid choice for any filmmaker or any content creator that needs multiple lights, but on a budget. I always find that it's better to have more lights than you need than to have one light that's four times the price because you'll end up with less dynamic shots in my experience. Now, of course, no light is perfect. So let's get into some of the downsides that I've come across in my experience. First up, there's no mini Bowens mount adapter included. It's a separate purchase that you have to make on the website. So if you're anything like me, a content creator that relies on studio softbox setups, you'll be disappointed to know that you'll have to make the purchase of that Bowens mount adapter separately. As I've been reviewing my copy of the product, I didn't get a Bowens mount adapter, so I haven't actually been able to use it in a softbox setup. And I've got mini Bowens mount adapters from other products that I've purchased laying around at home that I've tried to work with this light and none of them fit. It is a little bit of a letdown that it doesn't come with one, but it's more disappointing that it's become common practice that mini Bowens mounts aren't universal, while regular Bowens mounts are. Like I was saying, I've got about six adapters laying around at home that none of which work with this light. So I just find it to be a bit of a cheap cash grab to justify charging more for an accessory which could have been universal to begin with. Point number two is that this is an RGB light, not an RGB LAC light. LAC standing for lime, amber, and cyan. Now, what this means is that you're gonna be missing out on some of the color spectrum that some of the higher end lights might offer. In your day to day, you're probably not gonna notice much of it. For me, I am a bit more picky about this kind of stuff but it's just something to consider. Point number three is that I've found that the reflector that comes with the light creates some hot spots in the middle of wherever you're pointing the light, uh, especially without the dome. What this looks like is if I point the light at the wall, you'll see there's a very bright spot in the middle and it kind of falls off in brightness near the edges instead of being a uniformly bright circle of light. I've tried using other mini Bowens mount reflectors. And I've found that they come with their own issues. I've had dim spots in the middle. I've had chromatic aberration around the edges. Just feels a little bit like a short-sighted overview when they were putting this product together and their solution was to slap a silicon dome on the top and call it a day. So like I've said, if you're gonna use this light to try get ultimately soft results, you're gonna to need to keep this on or have a softbox. Point number four, there's no plans for any future Bluetooth or Wi-Fi updates. So according to Telefo, when I asked them directly, they don't have any current plans to update the Bluetooth features or any of the lighting effects. So what you see is what you get for this foreseeable future, which is a little bit unfortunate. It would have been great to have some ongoing support, some future proofing for this light, but it feels like a cheap way to cut corners and to sell version twos or version threes of this light when it comes out with 25 effects or 30 effects or better app customization. Point number five, in terms of customization, you can only customize the effects in terms of their speed and their brightness. That's it. That's where the customization ends. So if you like the look of the glowing campfire, but you want it to be a blue instead of your typical orange, 
you can't do that. If you like the paparazzi effect, but you want to add a bit of a red tint to it because of something that you're doing creatively in your music video, you can't do that. If you want to time the explosion effect on this light to maybe, let's say, your actor's performance, you can't do that. Everything is automatic about this. So it would have been great to see a little bit more customization in terms of how we can use the effects rather than just speed and brightness. And point number six is that there's no NPF battery or V-mount battery support for this light. According to Talifo, when I asked him directly about using NPF batteries or V-mount batteries for the DC input, they said that the light will only charge and cannot be powered on because the voltage from external batteries is too low. So if you're working on a setup that requires requires those power options, it's just something to consider. For demonstration's sake, as you can see, the light is powered on using its internal battery, but the second I plug in my KNF and Concept V-mount battery with a D-tap to DC in, the light immediately turns off and begins charging rather than running off the battery. So that's just, again, something to consider. So with all these pros and cons, who would actually benefit from using the Talifo RGB palm light? Well, I think it's perfect for your content creators, your filmmakers, your photographers who are working in small studios or small production setups. And here's why. Firstly, if you're an on the go kind of creator, someone who shoots in various locations with unstable power, the inbuilt battery in this thing is a lifesaver. Pairing that with its portable and compact design that you can just chuck in your backpack and go, it's perfect for those kind of creators. Secondly, given its size to output ratio, it's perfect for the YouTubers or vloggers that want to enhance their lighting setup of their studio without necessarily investing into large, expensive, bulky uh, setups. That's why for me, this light will be staying here in my studio and replacing the light that I have currently being my key as I probably will use the bigger, bulkier setups for my more professional shoots out in the field. But for in here, this thing's perfect. And thirdly, this light is for anyone that's kind of in a small studio setup or a product photographer. Because of its accurate color representation with a TLCI of 98, it's perfect for your product photographers that need to get small spaces or small products lit up with great color accuracy. So what are my final thoughts? What's the final verdict? Despite the few limitations that there are, I think the Talifo RGB palm light is an awesome tool for content creators. It's also an awesome tool for filmmakers or photographers that need portability but don't want to sacrifice too much in terms of power and flexibility. For about 200 US dollars or 300 Australian, you're getting a solid deal, especially if your style is very run and gun in nature and you just need a few lights to work with. So if you're looking for a light that's compact, affordable and packed full of features, I'd say this one is definitely worth considering. Thank you for watching and in getting this far into the video. If you've got any questions or thoughts on the light, drop them down in the comments below. I'll be giving them all a read. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel as it always greatly helps. Until the next time, I'll catch you then.